Welcome to our channel BA Careers. In this video, let us discuss about project scope management in software engineering. Key points, introduction to project scope management. Define scope management in software engineering. Importance of clear scope definition. Steps of project scope management. Step 1, plan scope management. Step 2, collect requirements. Step 3, define the scope. Step 4, create the work breakdown structure, WBS. Step 5, validate the scope. Step 6, control scope. Challenges in scope management. Scope creep. Miscommunication between stakeholders and teams. Best practices. Effective requirement gathering. Regular stakeholder reviews. Clear change management processes. Tools for project scope management. Common software tools used, e.g. Jira, Trello, MS Project. Conclusion Reinforce the importance of managing scope for project success. Welcome to our comprehensive guide on project scope management in software engineering. Managing the project scope is essential to ensure that a software project is completed on time, within budget, and meets all requirements. A well-managed scope keeps the team aligned with the project's goals and helps avoid unexpected surprises. Step 1 is Planning Scope Management This involves defining how the project scope will be outlined, managed, and controlled. By laying out a proper plan at the start, you ensure clarity in terms of roles, responsibilities, and the overall approach to scope management. The next step is gathering detailed requirements from stakeholders. Collecting these requirements early ensures that the software meets the user's needs and expectations. This is a collaborative process where inputs from various stakeholders are considered to build a comprehensive list of requirements. Step 3 is defining the project scope. The scope statement outlines the project boundaries, deliverables, and the processes involved. A well-defined scope acts as the project's roadmap, ensuring the team stays on track. Next, create the Work Breakdown Structure, or WBS. This breaks the project into smaller, manageable tasks or deliverables. A detailed WBS helps the team visualize each component of the project and understand the sequence of tasks to be completed. Validating the scope is critical. At this stage, you review the project scope with the stakeholders to ensure the defined deliverables align with expectations. This step helps avoid any misalignment or surprises later on in the project. Finally, controlling the scope ensures the project stays within its defined boundaries. This step involves tracking progress, managing changes, and avoiding scope creep when new requirements are added without adjusting the project's time or budget. One of the biggest challenges in scope management is scope creep, where new requirements are added during the project without formal approval. Miscommunication between stakeholders and the development team can also lead to scope management issues. To manage scope effectively, gather accurate and complete requirements from the start. Regular reviews with stakeholders will help ensure that everyone is on the same page. Implementing a clear change management process is also essential to handle scope changes efficiently. Several tools can help manage scope effectively in software engineering projects. Popular tools include Jira for tracking tasks and issues, MS Project for planning and scheduling, and Trello for visual task management. In conclusion, Managing project scope is crucial to the success of software engineering projects. By following the right steps, planning, defining, validating, and controlling scope, you can ensure that your projects are delivered on time and within budget, while also meeting stakeholder expectations. Effective scope management is key to avoiding costly delays and maintaining a happy, productive team. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.